Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. As you've seen from the opening scenes, we've got some fantastic aerial footage coming up. But here we have today a photograph from the 9th of July 1946 of RAF Martlesham or UA, USAAF Station 369, which was active between 1917 and 1963 and was also home to Royal Flying Corps, the Royal Air Force, and the US Army Air Force. A couple of famous pilots that took off from here was Willie McKnight and friend and wingman Douglas Bader, who took January the 12th, 1941, but sadly, like many pilots in this war, they never returned home. As you see in the picture, there was two runways, one going from uh, right to left, the main runway in the middle, and there was also one going from north to south. And there was a few taxiways around the outside. This is what it looks like in 2021. Most of it has disappeared and there is a large amount of housing and industrial uh, property in the area. We also have the massive A12 running straight through the middle of it. Also, we've created this little overlay which shows the original runways and taxiways over a 2021 image of the ground. So you can see roughly where everything was and where it is now. But today we're going to be concentrating on three key areas of RAF Martlesham Heath. We've got the southwest part of the runway circled in blue, which still remains. The control tower, which is circled in red, which has uh, been perfectly preserved over the last couple of decades and has actually been turned into a museum now, which can be visited on a Sunday between 2 and 5 p.m. Please check their website to make sure they are open. We've got the yellow banana -y shape at the top, which is a part of the taxiway, which is rather buried under foliage and trees and dirt and mud, but it is still there. So, without further ado, ladies and gents, we're going to go into the aerial footage that I took. If you like my video, please feel free to like and subscribe for more fantastic content. And I leave you with this memory of RAF Martlesham Heath. <laughs> 